going to set gas pressure on a high efficient furnace. Um, so there's a few things that we got to do. Uh, high efficient furnaces typically have a sealed combustion that's bringing air in from the outside. Um, when a furnace is running, this chamber will be under negative pressure. So if you set your gas pressure with the cover on, um, it's not going to be an accurate reading. You can change it by about half an inch water column. So I'm going to put my manometer on the outlet of my gas valve and then we'll start the furnace up and look at where we're at and uh, we'll adjust it if necessary. This is um, a test port on the gas valve. So you take this port out and then you can thread your manometer into the gas valve. Okay, so I hooked my manometer into the gas valve outlet port. Um, all gas valves will have some kind of outlet port. Um, sometimes they're regular 3 8 thread, uh, sometimes they're pin ports with a, a tiny uh, Allen wrench or Allen screw inside and just loosen it up and slide your hose over the outside of it. We're using inches water gauge um, to test gas pressure. Okay, so we're going to fire up the furnace. Alright, so we got our cover off so that we're reading atmospheric pressure out here and we have no negative pressure going on in the furnace. We've got a combustion analyzer, which is highly recommended. We got our a test port. We put our, we put our combustion analyzer in the flue gases. Um, the readings with this cover off at this time isn't as important. Um, you're not going to get a true combustion reading when the cover's off because you're you're not actually using the restriction of the inlet air pipe to, to help do adjustments. The furnace flares up. You can see this furnace is running at 3.6 inches. Um, typically from the factory they come 3.5. Um, so we take our cover off our adjustment cord and then you basically just you turn it down until you get to where you should be. So we're going to turn it to 3.5. Okay, so we're in a ballpark now. We're running at 3.5. Now that's usually it's a factory setting. So now with the, you put your cover back on put the screws in. Now this is where you would make sure that the adjustments you made to the gas pressure didn't affect your combustion. So you'd make sure your combustion is still good. Um, if you can turn the gas pressure down a little bit, um, you can. You can turn it up a little bit. Uh, keeping in mind that you got to stay within the furnace's temperature rise. So you take a temperature reading of the air coming into the furnace, temperature reading of the air coming out of the furnace. Uh, typically the reading on the outside of the furnace, you're going to want uh, away from the furnace so you're not picking up radiant heat from the heat exchanger itself. You want true air reading, so you would come into a canvas connector, typically on the horizontal run, and then one on the return. So this furnace likes to operate between 40 and 70 degrees temperature rise. So if you got 60 degrees coming in, you can have 100 coming out all the way up to 100 and, uh, 130. And so as long as you're within range, your combustion is clean and adjusted good, then that's it. You just uh, turn everything off, take your meter off, put your plugs back in, plug your exhaust hole back up. Now you know the furnace is running clean and safe and within range. That way you get the longest lifespan out of it and the heat exchanger takes the least amount of wear and tear that it can. That's it. It's been temp. Thank you.